Hey everybody, what's up? So today is day 27 of 31 and 31. We're getting really, really close to the end of this whole thing. And uh, I took a little bit of another, another little sidestep because um, I read that this movie was involved cults or was about cults or something like that. But it's a Swedish movie uh, called uh, Aniara uh, and it's on Hulu currently. Um, and it's kind of just like a weird sci-fi movie. Uh, the basic premise is that there is, like, Earth has kind of gone to shit. So it's like kind of like a post-apocalyptic, uh, almost an apocalyptica. <laughs> that wouldn't have been right. Post-apocalyptica, that means that uh, somebody else will play strings for metal songs. Um, but uh, it's a post-apocalyptic Earth where everybody's kind of going to Mars because Mars is going to be the new Earth. And so there is, like, a, there's a transport called the Aniara, uh, and, uh, or Aniara, I, I don't remember exactly how to say it, uh, Swedes, uh, but, uh, and it's going to take three weeks to get to Mars and drop everybody off, and everybody's going to be happy, and it's this really lavish spaceship and everything like that. And then uh, it hits some space debris, out there in the middle of nowhere, causes a pinhole-like fracture in the fuel tanks, and they have to jettison all the fuel, and it's taken the entire ship off course, and they can't steer back on course. And it's kind of everything that happens after that. And you have this girl who is the Mima something. The Mima is this like thing that can show people visions, uh, open up their memories, and let them like, I guess, kind of relive their good memories. And she's the one that kind of works it and controls it. And after they get to start floating to space, her job becomes more important because she's able to take people out of the reality of what's going on. Um, and then things kind of go crazy after that. It's it's interesting because the cults start forming when after something happens in the movie. Um, and they're kind of all over the place. And if you want to see an orgy, well, you're in luck because you'll be able to see an orgy in this movie. Uh, it surprised how me because I made a joke. I'm like, it's orgy time, and I'm like, oh, it's orgy time. Um, it's it's just weird. Like, it's it's a good movie. Um, I actually did enjoy it, but it's pretty bleak, to be honest with you. Um, I wasn't expecting it to be so bleak, and, like, there's, like, a ray of hope, and then, you know, uh, yeah, and then more stuff. Uh, you get to basically experience what the people on the ship are experiencing the entire time, with a roller coaster of emotions, uh, it just misses something. I think towards the end of the movie because it just, it just kind of ends. It's you know, I don't want to ruin anything with this one, but it's kind of hard to even keep talking about this movie without wanting to say all the little things that kind of happened in it. Um, but it's it's still pretty good. I wouldn't put it at the higher levels of things. It's not one of my favorite. It's definitely worth a watch if you're really interested. If you see it and you read the description, you're just like, okay, it's not very culty. I was expecting more about cults because when they were talking about, then cults start to form. I was like, oh, great. And that's in the description of the thing. But eh, it really doesn't have anything to do with cults, which that was a little bit of a disappointment. But nonetheless, I think that if you're in for a good dystopian future sci-fi thing where people are just learning to survive out in the vastness of space... I think it's a pretty good movie, and it's got a couple of really good performances in it. Uh, it has some beautiful shots in the movie, um, and uh, you know, but just don't expect to be happy after you see this movie. Uh, so I'm gonna give this uh, three out of five spears, and you'll know what that is if you watch it. Uh, I I just don't think it reaches the four mark. I think because it's a little too bleak for me. Uh, if it was, I, I don't know. I don't necessarily need to be happy, but. Good God, man. Yeah. The, the ending is just really depressing. Um, and if that makes you want to watch it, okay. That's your prerogative. Um, I'm not trying to say don't watch it, because it is, it is still a pretty good movie. Like, I guess my threes uh, would be somebody's like 7 out of 10. That would be like kind of in that area, or maybe 6 out of 10. Um, so that's kind of where my threes lie. Um, so... Thank you guys very much for watching this little short uh, review. And don't forget that you'll be able to click on the little thingy over there. See all the other ones. Uh, and let me know what you thought in the comments below. And if you like the content that you see, make sure to like and subscribe. 
uh, to never miss another beat of the rest of these uh, horror movie reviews. And we'll see you next time on another one of these 31 and 31, 31 Nights of Horror. See ya.